الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters, as we approach the beginning of a new month Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to uh, 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 make a dua at the beginning uh, of, the, of the month and uh, it was it was a dua that uh, subhanallah it was as with all his duas were so uh, so uh, profound and uh, so important to see uh, at the, when you uh, take a look at it to see how he always was renewing his commitment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how he was always thinking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as all of us should so Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say Allahu Akbar Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil amni wal iman wa salamati wal islam wa tawfiqi lima tuhibbu wa tarda Rabbuna wa rabbuka Allah This is uh, a dua that is mentioned in a hadith an authentic hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Brothers and sisters this dua means that Allah is the greatest Allah is the greatest and oh, <coughs> oh Allah uh, have this hilal this moon loom over us with in a state of total uh, peace or total security and total faith and total peace and total Islam and also in, in a state where you will bless us to succeed in what in all that you love and all that you are pleased for us to do. And then Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentions the moon that uh, as if to say, O moon, our Lord and your Lord is Allah. Our Lord and your Lord is Allah. Brothers and sisters, as we begin to think uh, about this dua, and if you reflect on upon it just for a moment, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam starts out the dua with the name of Allah and ends with the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala meaning that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is really supposed to be the greatest in our lives and how if we uh, were to think about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala in our lives then we would accomplish peace and security and we would be successful in practicing our Islam and, <coughs> and how Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala would bless us to, uh, to succeed and to achieve everything that he loves for us to do and is pleased for us to do. So when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Oh Allah, have this moon loom over us while we are in a state of security. Security not only within but also outside in our environment in the, in the lives that we live and also with Iman. Because when we have faith in Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that helps to promote security and people when people have iman then people do not transgress against Allah and against each other and against the environment not only that but then when we when we come to the when Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam goes on and says was salamati wal islam and in total peace peace not only with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost by obeying Allah and and doing the things that Allah has asked us to do but also to have peace within ourselves and to be at peace with those who we associate with our relatives, our friends, our families and peace with others who are outside of our faith and with peace with our environment and peace with, every, with the whole universe not only this but when Rasul says and Islam that oh Allah bring this moon upon us in a state when we are following our Islam when we are in a state of submission to you O oh Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala and then not only this but then at the end of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says ask Allah to help us to succeed in achieving these goals to uh, to be at peace and to be secure and and, uh, and to have this faith in Allah and to submit to Allah and to for, uh, to uh, for Allah to bless us in everything that he loves for us to do and everything that he is pleased for us to do and then it finishes off by saying, "Your O Moon, our Lord and your Lord is Allah, because in the end we are returning to Him." So, brothers and sisters, as every month comes on, a Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam would make this du'a, and as if to tell us that if we accomplish these things, perhaps we will be better human beings, and we will be able to love 
each other a lot more and we'll be able to be kind with each other and, and to forgive each other and to be tolerant of each other as we serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all together. Brothers and sisters, thank you for listening and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this month a very successful month for you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.